Never gonna die! Okay, let's watch the Black documentary first. Let's let's see what's go with this uh this right here. Okay, so this is episode two of Unlocked. Uh, the first one that we did was on Bound, and this is the second episode on Collect, which just came out uh, this past weekend at the event. Shout out to HCS. Let's check this out. I knew I could do it. I was watching tournaments in middle school and watching it, it was my dream, but I also knew that I'd be able to accomplish it. With Halo Infinite, this title is actually really difficult to find up and coming stars. And there are a select few who do make hey, it that up Utah. and who do I climb that through the open bracket and do start to make some noise. Bro, the production on this goes so crazy. Connect was this player that was making a name for himself in the open bracket. People were talking about him. Have you seen this player getting all the kills for his team? Collect was one of those names who was up there. Statistically, he was getting an insane amount of kills. He oh, Damn. Oh, boy, the double for Collect. We're like, oh, hold on a second. This kid's got something special. This bro, did kid they shoot this? Go far. <laughs> They shot Watching that in the Collect tunnel in Utah, insane. bro. I mean, with a sniper rifle in his hands, he's always hitting that some shit looks haunted. shots. His movement is great. Positioning on point. He has all gross. the right attributes to be a top player. Damn. And I think that as he is molded by his teammates and as he finds a team, he could be the one that you have to have. He's also, he's been on a lot of teams past year or so. Yeah, that this was Utah. Annoying, but like, this venue was crazy, bro. Don't know about esports. Like, I couldn't imagine living that life. Like, I wanted to know what I would be. Oh, Where you have two long sleeves on? Dude, yeah. What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> no, you're a psychopath. <laughs> no way, bro. This guy got the lunchables. That's crazy. Very healthy snack. This is protein, about 35, 35 G's of protein. Um, this is my supplement. I take this every morning. <laughs> uh, it's really good. good. Balanced meal. The first thing I remember about Kay was that he was kind of a troll in Twitch chats. I have no filter in a way, and I think when I was way younger, it's like a Where did they shoot of, this at, no man? And I'm childish, and I'm a kid, so I really didn't care. I think that's where the toxicity came from. I can't always be toxic. It's crazy, bro. It's like not really healthy for anybody, because like in in person, I'm really nice. Like I'm a friendly <laughs> person. He's the sweetest kid in the whole wide world. This is the easiest team in all of these sports. Dude, I love K so much, man. Like just hanging out with them in person, like online. We're just like playing matchmaking and like. Any time of the day, like this guy is just like a great guy, he's a funny guy, just very humble and down to earth. It might be like a lost size one. I gotta say, I never do that. Boy, fight and scrum. Something that really impresses me with him is you can tell that he knows who he is and he knows what he wants and he knows what he likes. Collects just in 20. 20. That Damn. is unbelievably young when you consider yeah, the that's experience actually crazy. that is surrounding him on some of the teams that he's been on. Damn. Also, wait, bro. Hang on. Is we in the crowd right here? Nah, no me cameo, bro. We was streaming in the other room, I think. You and Jose are last two up. When do you guys grab the ball? And the gen, nah, for, like, gen wasn't. Beat those guys, uh, Brand. Gen wasn't. I, I already said I spawned tower. At that point, somebody just get the ball. Either bring it long, so way I can go see flat. We got 
I feel like I belong here, but I also Yo, feel that like actually I went crazy. What the fuck? Still, it's like I just went from an open bracket kid to like a pro player. Select going from open bracket up onto the main stage is something that I think a lot of players are looking for. It's the hopes and dreams, right? You start off, you go to the open bracket, you buy a team pass first, you play your way through a grueling battle in the passion pit. The open bracket is special because that's where so much passion is. You've got people yeah. who have paid their own way to get there. It's what Halo has always been. It's kind of the old school Halo still lives in the open bracket. Collect. He stood out. He yep. stood out from the crowd, he stood out from his team. He's a main slayer. The skill was unmatched on his squad and he was picked up by some of the teams who were looking for kind of an injection of stardom, an injection of skill and uh, some main slayer ability. And Collect was that guy. My first year competing, it's like my rookie season and I'm playing against all like the people that I've looked up to basically. It's kind of like surreal. It's like, it kind of like a, I made it. Like now I gotta make it count. Dude, I literally spawned to the rainbow. I thought it was, I thought it was, I was like, you can trust my teammate. I kind of saw it. I was like, you know the, uh, the raven meme where like, yeah. it goes between the zoom. You saw it happening. So at the moment, what these motherfuckers doing, himself bro? himself on a roster with native white. <laughs> now, things haven't been easy, and that could be a very clear window into actually Collect's career. So the teams that he's been on, Esports Arena Red, Space Station, Native Gaming, Oxygen, Native Gaming, <laughs> Sentinels, Complexity, he's been everywhere. He hasn't really been able to find anywhere to call home. He's bounced around so many rosters at this point in time. I am really hoping he finds his home. A big reason for getting K is like I wanted to bring him some stability. because I do think that the amount of bouncing around the last 18 months it's it's hard to see success when that's the reality. He just needs to find somewhere to call home. I feel like if you put the right mixture around K, then he could definitely be someone who's like will will his way to like a grand finals or even a championship. Obviously, Collect hasn't won yet, but I do think it's inevitable. I think he will lift up a trophy at some point. There's a lot of what ifs and what could be's, and a lot of that is going to come down to how he wants to improve as a player and as a person. There's this intangible skill when it comes to really anything competitive, and it's this mindset of believing, like truly believing that you're better than everybody, but knowing that you have to do the hard part, you have to work, you have to practice, you have to hold yourself accountable. There's very few people I've met through my almost two decades plus at this point that have shown both of those characteristics. K is one of them. If the middle school version of me saw where I was at today, I think he'd be really proud. I think he'd also know that I'd be here at this moment because even in middle school, I knew that I could do this professionally. But I think he'd be really proud and like, it's kind of like, like I told you so. That's cool, man. With a triple kill, killing spree. Oh, what? Collect with what? the repulsor 180 no scope. Huh. That was dope, man. That was a dope, uh, that was a dope second episode of Unlocked. It was cool, man. <clears throat> yeah, shout out to, uh, shout out HCS, shout out Collect.